Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today we're down at North Killtown and uh, last time we put in a few little extra bits. I'm not loving that bridge actually. Oh no, okay, I'll let it off. I, I thought it had done that thing where it did the really, the really steep hill, you know, to kind of manipulate it around buildings, but it hasn't, that's fine. Um, yeah, that seems to be alright. Yeah, uh, we put a couple of extra bits in. Uh, we finished off the ring road, put the harbour in, etc. Got some bus services running down here. Is, uh, is he there? There he is, look. Having a whale of a time. Jolly old time. What's this going on here? There's a 158 coming along. Uh, yeah, all things are jolly wonderful. Is he full and standing? Nope, not quite. Uh, so yeah, point of today's episode, uh, it has been pointed out to me that everyone is very dissatisfied with the uh, the class 47s and Mark 2s. They've said, oh, they're old now, come on, you need to get them replaced. So replace them, we shall. Now, uh, I don't actually know what we're doing in terms of upgrading them. Uh, can we have a look? Let's, let's pop to the depot, that's... Uh, that's the first port of call, I'm sure. Uh, so it's going to have to be a diesel loco of some kind. That's electric. There we go. Uh, and uh, scrolling down, I mean, we've got the 47. I imagine if I replace 47s with 47s, you'll have a fit. Uh, in the in the old electric category, we've got a couple of interesting little things here. I mean, look at that. There's uh, oh, there's a. Uh, I mean, yeah. <coughs> I can't see us going for those, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's nice. Ish. Why are they all called Transpennine Express? I don't know. Uh, I mean, we've got a 92. That can do 87 miles an hour. We've got a 91. Uh, you know, that's all jolly wonderful. But we haven't actually electrified the line, have we? I mean, we could electrify the line. We could have 91s on. I mean, we could... Oh no! Do you know what? We're not doing that because I'm I'm headstrong on not electrifying just yet. Right. So it's back to diesel then. So the only obvious choice that we've got is the HST uh, in BR Blue, in Intercity Executive, in Intercity Swallow, in Great Western Merlin. It's absolutely not going to be Great Western Merlin, partly because I know how much it irritates you that this map is based on the Great Western, and so far I've not used any sort of stock that could be attributed to the Great Western. Okay, maybe I've used a 150 stroke 2 and a 158, but apart from that, let's see, yeah, Intercity Swallow, let's have a look at that. Uh, let's let's pop one of you on. And uh, what about passenger wagons? Obviously, it's going to have to be a Mark III, isn't it? Where are the Mark Threes? There we go. Uh, so, Intercity, 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 there we go. Uh, we'll have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Let's have a buffet car. Uh, we'll keep our people refreshed. Six. And uh, what about some first class carriages? So we've got six on so far. There we go. Seven, eight. And uh, let's have another local on the back. There we go. Uh, Intercity Swallow Reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay. So that's going to bring us to a whopping 221 metres. Okay. Uh, and is that going to fit in the station? Let's have a look. I'm going to hazard a guess not. What are these flag things? Park View Hotel and Cafe. Lovely. Should really be station view, shouldn't it? Because it's looking over the station. Right. Uh, so, 221 metres. So, 240. Hmm. It is longer by about two tiles, I reckon. Right. Okay. So, we're going to have to do some modifications. Oh, that means we're going to have to go through and check each individual station. Right, okay, so we're going to pause this. There we go. <laughs> Look at our beautiful everything we've built. Right, we'll get rid of you. And we will need to configure the station. Now, what flipping platforms did I use? I can't remember. Uh, right. Uh, yes, we used uh, the Network Southeast ones, which I can't actually see. Oh, they're there. Right, we're not going to use them. Because I want it to be blatantly obvious. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, track, track, track. As soon as we put some tracks in, that will... Uh, right the way down. 
Yeah, I want it to be blatantly obvious where we've done the platform extensions. There we go. Look at that. I know the station signs are completely different further down, but uh, yeah, that's going to annoy you. Lots of you, isn't it? Uh, but that is 240 metres, so we'll be able to fit an HST on there. Uh, now, how on earth are we going to do this? Uh, we'll just build this out here. Uh, we're completely winging it at this point. But we'll bring it out round here. We'll, we'll get rid of the catenary. We don't need you. Well, we don't need you yet, anyway. I imagine in the future this will probably all be electrified. Um, what about a bit of 50 round there? Can we get you to 50? We can. I mean, it doesn't exactly look brilliant, does it? Uh, right, 30. Ooh, well, we can get you to 30 round there. And we can, uh, I don't imagine... Well, we can get you to 25. How, how do you feel about 25? Too much curvature. Too much curvature. What about a bit of 25 over there? Well, we can do that. There we go. Bit of a signal on there. You've made a complete hash of that junction, really, haven't you? I mean, to be fair, could we could we just 30 over and crisscross? We could. Right, there we go. Get rid of you. There we go. Right. And a bit of signalling. Lovely. Smashing. Gorgeous. Right. So, now we need to just work our way down the line and uh, an upgrade to 240 as and when. Uh, so, how are you feeling? How long are you? Well, what a personal question that is. Okay, why did I build that station long enough but I didn't build the terminus long enough? That's a bit of a bizarre one. I'm hoping I built all the rest of them at 240, actually. That's not 240, is it? <clears throat> right, can somebody please answer me the question, why did I do it like I did? Why Why was that 240? If this wasn't. Bizarre thing, why, why did I do that? Goodness only knows. See, I absolutely love this game until you actually have to come and edit the flipping thing. And then you just go back and ask yourself, well, why did I do that? That's giving me such a headache. Uh, we're actually going to use the Netherlands platforms again. There we go. Extend you. Simply so, I mean, the, when they extend stations in real life, it always looks like this, doesn't it? Right, hang on. Scroll all the way down, because I'm going to give myself RSI if I carry on doing it the way I'm doing it. There we go. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Smashing. Right, what speed am I using for you? 100. What speed am I using at this end? Bit of 30. Right, well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll use a bit of 50 here. Yeah? Bit of 50. Look at that. Smashing. Uh, and then bit of 30 over here. Bit of 100. I mean, if we're using HSTs, we're probably going to have to upgrade some of it to 125, aren't we? There we go. We'll get a signal on the end there. Smashing. Quite beautiful, really, isn't it? Right, so, flying over the hill. Come on, please say I've used 240. So I don't have to upgrade it. I've not, have I? Oh, I have. All oh, right, okay. That's that station done. Over to Steel Coed. That is 240. Marvelous. That's not, but they don't stop there, so that's fine. You're 240 already. Oh, look at this. You could tell that there was a bit of future planning involved there. And you're a very grand old station, aren't you? That's not the terminus of the express line. I mean, it is the terminus of the express line, but it's not going to be permanently the terminus of the express line. Right. Okay, uh, so, lines, yes, there we go, uh, what was it, it was the Regional Express, Transmap Regional, oh no, hang on, we appear to be doing some maintenance, don't want to do that, <coughs> flipping heck, have I got to go and met my trains again, I thought I'd done that, sometimes it saves it, sometimes it doesn't, I never quite know when it does and when it doesn't, uh, right, Mark 3's, 
I mean, we could just have a fully first class layout, couldn't we? Just price out the uh, the people that can't afford first class. There we go. We could probably fit a nine car on, to be honest with you. No, we couldn't. We couldn't. Uh, we'll, we'll just go with an eight car. Uh, diesel locomotives. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. We could use buffers, but we're not going to use buffers. We're not going to use buffers. Uh, right, there we go. We place them all. No, oh, there we go. 30 million. Flipping heck. That has nearly priced us completely out. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. Now, let's, uh, let's, let's just... Ah. It does look like it's got its tail lights on, but I promise you, that is... If you look at the actual rear lights... The, the red is in the middle. There you go. So that is actually a yellow light. Because that's the red one there. It just doesn't look it. They do just look like they've got the tail lights on the front. Right, well there we go. So we have upgraded that. So that is going to stop people from whining for a few episodes. Uh, until they're like, oh hang on, it's Intercity. You should upgrade them to, uh, to, to better things. I mean, what's the, uh, what's the actual speed limit down here? This will be 100 between the two. It's not got many on, has it, really? For the amount of money we've just spent, 30 million, uh, I was kind of hoping for a little bit better than uh, than 24 people. Well, that is making money, isn't it? So, uh, there we go. I mean, oh, this is 90 round here, right? Okay. I mean, look at that. Oh, there's another one coming the other way. Smashing. How fast are you going? You're doing 81. Oh, brilliant. The annoying thing is it's replaced... All of them with the first class at the back. Which means that the first class is not at the same end on all of these. That is very annoying, but never mind. We can't have everything, can we? I mean, I might have to go and turn them round, in all honesty. Look at him just whizzing along at 90 mile an hour. He is loving life, isn't he? I might. I, I am going to have to change some of this to 125R. Maybe from here. Uh, let's have a look. I don't think they'll get to 125 in all honesty. Because, I mean, they're so slow on the uptake, aren't they? There we go. 125. Let's have a bit of a, a bit of the old magic wand. What's that changing it to? That, oh, it is 125 to, in all fairness to it. And that goes down to 105. Yeah, you see. 125. Oh, maybe it will get to 125. I don't know. I don't think this will be 125 round here, will it? No, that's down to 100. Back to 125. Oh, it'd be nice if we could get 125 over the viaduct, wouldn't it? Why is there a bridge collision? I'm not asking you to be a different bridge. Oh, look at that. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. 114. 125. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, it's such a hilly route as well, isn't it? I, I don't think that these are going to be able to get to 125 over this stretch, particularly with all the, uh, you know, all the slower bits. Well... Let's just look and see, shall we? How's this chap doing here? Well, he's doing 75 so far. And, I mean, it was 100 over here anyway, so he's he's not got remotely close. At least with the new speed limit, they can do it if they can get to it. Oh, look at the, look at the earnings. They're, they're not good, are they? And this guy's only got 22 passengers on. But I mean, it is going to look pretty good if we if we just skip down into the town. Seeing the HST go flying across that bridge in excess of 100. Look, this is a speed record. We've never got to 105 before. I mean, that doesn't look quite as good as what I thought it would. Maybe we need to be a bit higher. Oh, look at that. He's flying, isn't he? 110 miles an hour, no messing about. Look at that! Brilliant. I 
Well, we can take solace in the fact that it has increased the speed a little bit. Wow! Even if it doesn't get to 125, it's definitely well up there, isn't it? Aww. Brilliant. Right, okay, so that is that taken care of. Now, can is there a way that we can bring more passengers to our rail network? Because, obviously, I mean, how many have we got here? There's a fair few waiting here, isn't there? What are they waiting for? Transmap Regional to steal Coed. Right, okay, so that's waiting for this train. 21 passengers on board. How many have you got? You're full. Right, okay. That's good. That is very good, actually, isn't it? Um, have we got the... Uh, the 150s go down here, don't they? We just don't seem to have seen one in a while. Is, is there a blockage? Oh, no, they've just still not quite spaced themselves out yet. I mean, you're full? Of course you're full. I mean, all in all, I think we're doing pretty well here. Um, now, I did also notice this stone quarry here, uh, because we have got a... Uh, where, where could we transport the stone to? We could transport the stone to there, but we do have... Uh, we, we could... I mean, we've got a stone quarry all the way over here. And if we were to transport that stone all the way across the map, that is going to make some pretty tidy profits, isn't it? I mean, we've got the money to do so. We could transport the stone to here, actually, couldn't we? Hmm. I mean, it's going to take a while to get it all the way over there. We'll need quite a few trains, but the amount of money, because you're paid per distance, aren't you? So if that's going to go all the way around there... I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea, because it would have to run over the top on our, uh, you know, on our, on this line, which would no doubt disrupt our passenger trains. But I mean, they are quite slow, aren't they? So if the freight can stay up to speed, because they stop everywhere, don't they? How many have you got on? You've only got twenty-six. Hmm, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Hmm. I do like watching them in the station. They are really, really good, aren't they? They are really, really good for our... I like as well how when the doors shut, if you look, they all kind of shut independently down the length of the train, like there is actually a dispatcher going down shutting them. Hang on. Okay, maybe that one didn't. I thought they all shut independently. Obviously not. Doesn't it sound good? Doesn't it sound good? What are you doing? You're bringing some... Oh, you're actually bringing some food now. <coughs> good news. Oh, I don't really know where to go now. I want to take that stone. I want to take that stone and it's flipping at me. Right, that's going to be a, a bit of a mega project. It's not really going to be a mega project, is it? Because I have the track built. But uh, it is going to be... It's going to be awesome. Right. High speed. I think 320. I reckon we could do with some lengthy trains for this task. Uh, can we can we clip you onto the side? No, we can't. Right. We're going to have to use a through station. Can we get both of you in our catchment area? We can. Look at that. Both of you are in our catchment area, which is good news. It's a very lengthy train, this. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are going to have you going all the way over here. I'm actually going to build the train line here. Going to build the railway all the way here. I did toy with... There we go. Bing you on there. Lovely. I did toy with just bringing it to here. But that would mean having to edit that station. And I'm, I'm a bit lazy. Right, so. Have a bit of, bit of 30 out of here. Oh, I've got it on Magic Wand tool. Never mind. Oh... Flipping auto save. D 
Just in your own time, mate. You know, just just whenever. There we go. Right, bit of uh, bit of this. Why have I built the station with third railing? Did I did I mean to do that? Why has the station got third rail? Whose stupid idea was that? I thought I clicked high speed. Oh, I clicked catenary. Right, yeah, we, we don't want any of that. Hang on, tracks. Where's magic wand tool? The magic wand tool is there. Uh, no, hang on. There, there used to be a really straightforward tool. Why can I not see the flipping upgrade? To oh, there we go. Tools. There we go. Yeah, that's the one. Can we can we take you out of there? No. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, we'll just delete the station. High speed and no. There we go. Pop you on the end. Construction is possible. There we go. Now we'll have to go all the way back over here, won't we? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's not liking that. Have I put third rail on you as well? Yes, I have. Right, okay. High speed. Yeah, get both of you in. Yeah, there we go. Right. So, I've lost the... Uh, I've lost... Well, I'm losing the will to live. There we go. Uh, bit of 50. Bit of 50. <clears throat> we'll just bring you straight round onto here. Like that. Mmm, looking good so far. So that's 50. Right, we'll transform you into 60. There we go. And uh, just have a have a bit of that. There we go. Ooh, we're gonna. We're going to get a bit of jewel trap running here. Bring you round. Ooh, hang on. To about there. Now, I don't know how we're going to get this over there with a triangle. Ah, there we go. Right, carry on running. Right, I'll bring you to there. And a bit of, bit of 60. Now what speed are you at? Right, okay, you're at 50. Oh, hang on, you're all at 50. Right, change you to 50. There we go, yeah, 50, 50, thank you. Smashing. Right. Let's get a bit of one-way signalage now. One-way. Uh, yeah, I would like you to be one-way now, please. Ooh, look at that. And, uh, yeah, bit of you. One-way. And one-way. And two ways. <coughs> I will remember to come back and signal that later. Who oh, be kidding, I won't remember. Uh, now, can we get a level crossing out of you without it looking awful? Uh, the answer is possibly. Mm, okay, it doesn't look completely horrendous, does it? It could be worse. There we go. Drag you across there. Bit of 50. Because obviously it's a built-up area, isn't it? And I think that that's going to look absolutely fantastic. Absolutely belting, some might say. Right, there we go. Bit of, uh, bit of you on the junction. And a bit of this here. Mmm. Saucy. There we go. Right. 
So then we've got the track built all the way around. Have I signalled you? No, I have not. Oh, for Christ's sake, that's going to make this job so much harder. Uh, right, I've signalled the rest of you. Right, okay, well, we'll just, we'll just do the signal in here while I remember. There we go, a bit of that. What with the intercity stuff stopping all the time, I think that we might be able to get the freight going here without causing too much interruptions, because obviously the freight is not going to be stopping a lot. We need some form of high-speed wagon uh, so that the freight can get up to speed. So if the freight's not stopping, you know, if we can get the freight up to 75, I mean, I'd like to get the freight faster than that, to be honest with you, but I think maximum permissible speed for freight in the UK is 75. I could be wrong. Uh, but, yeah, if we can get the freight up to a good speed, uh, I don't imagine that the HSTs will be able to keep up with it. Well, they, they will be able to keep up with it, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Right, so that's all good over there. In fact, we're pretty much, yeah, we're all sorted to Mudton Cross. Right, I don't know what I'm doing the other side of Mudton Cross. I mean, you could just limit that to I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, you could do. Now that's going to have a station there, isn't it? I think we should send the freight down the stopping line. Because this is going to be an express line round to Tampool, I fear. Fear? Why do you fear that? Well, I don't know. Is the answer to that question. Uh, so, you're going to come in here. And then I reckon a bit of 50 over here. I, I said I, I reckon a bit of 50 over there. Bit of 50, what about 30? There we go, I can, I can just about do 30. So you can go on to the slow lines here with the 150s, so you'll be interrupting the 150s. Now, uh, here, a Mudton Cross avoiding line is just what the doctor ordered. Right, okay, there we go. Bit of 60. Hmm. That's not going to work. Maybe we need to come off at a bit of a sharper angle. There we go. <clears throat> I don't like that the HSTs haven't got the uh, the first class at the same end every time. It really does irritate me. Right, hang on. We'll, we'll build you out there. Because then we can go over the top. Completely ruin the people of Mudton Cross's view of the uh, of the river. What about a bit of a, a nice bridge? That's uh, nope. That's a bit too uh, a bit too Japanese for what we're doing here. Lovely. Oh, it's pretty. I don't think I've used that bridge yet, have I? There we go. We don't want too much of an incline. Bearing in mind that the uh, the stone, the actual stone train is going to be filled going the other way, isn't it? Right. Hang on. Oh, hang on. We've we've left this bit. There we go. That brings us back down to uh, brings us back down to uh, to to earth. Right, so mud to cross, we're going to clearly have uh, a, a line coming out of here, a passenger line. Are we? Yeah, I feel we are. So if we build you up there... And then we'll build the 40 up there as well. Because we're going to keep it at 40 for the express stuff. There we go. <coughs> and then I reckon a bit of a crossover here. Round here, I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing with this. We're just kind of freestyling. 
because then this slow line can run up to Tam Vale, which is up there. See? Mm. There's all a bit of a plan. Just a little bit of a plan. And then we can 50, we can 50 round there. That's going to look awesome. I'm particularly liking the fact it's sunk into the ground with all the trees around. I think that that's, that's looking pretty damn good. What I would like to do is tunnel under here. And kind of, the railway's going to come out and join. We could perhaps stick a station on here by the grain farm. Passenger station, passenger station, like on the outside. That we can get our little stopping trains to stop at. You know, like we did over there, over the other side of the river. There we go. Now, hmm, I don't think that's going to work. Right, we'll delete you a little bit. What if we attack it from a little bit sooner? A little bit earlier on. Okay, what about flat? Can we can we get you going flat? We oh we did then. We did. There we go. Right, let's just build that tunnel before uh, before it can decide otherwise, because then once we've built that, we can demolish these bits because we're under the road, and then we can start coming back up again. Now, uh, how do you feel about some sort of little station on here? Little 80s number, 80 metres number even, with an overpass. Yep, and a little small main building. A little small main building, how much littler and smaller do you need to be? What about something like that? Because we could actually stick a bus stop on there. I don't know if this is even going to work, but we'll... Uh, I've completely... This is just getting a bit of a mess now, isn't it? Right, there we go. Refund. Move you a bit further down, and you will be within the catchment area. Ooh, lovely. Look at that. That looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. The road has bent. Oh no, why, why has that happened? Oh, for crying out loud. Right, it was perfect. Why have you gone and ruined it? Why does it want to do that? What about if I build in from the other side? Construction is possible. It is possible. I don't want that. To... Right, we'll delete the road. Build the railway. Hmm. Smashing. That's nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Right. Where are my streets? There we go. Nope, that's a one-way street. Just a, just a regular street. How's that looking? Better. Okay. <clears throat> right. Bit of 60. Just flat. There we go. Keep it flat. And then just... Tunnel under. Okay, how's that looking? There's no, like, kind of unscrupulous world holes, is there? Nope, there's not. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, so long as you don't fall off the pavement, you, you know. But that is a train spot paradise, isn't it? I mean, look at that. <coughs> right, so, to business. After this, we're going to go for some 75. I'm going to go whizzing down the coast. Bit of 75. Look at that. I'm going to go straight round.
and back up again. Okay, yeah, okay. We got all the way down to the coast to then come back uphill. Uh, but I reckon it's going to be absolutely lovely. Keep you there. It's very much following the uh, the lines of the of the coast there. I mean, we're making money. Look at all the money we're making in the corner. We can get under that, actually, with a the tunnel. There we go. Look at that. Brilliant. It's quite a lengthy tunnel, but I don't mind. Because it gets us under that road with very little problems. Right, okay. So, bit of 60. Straight off. Can we go for can we go for that again? Nope. What about from there? Ooh. Loving it. Right, okay. And we shall get you onto there. Lovely. Right, and again. Smashing. Brilliant. Oh, this is all coming together. We need to go round there. So Tampool. Oh dear. Tampool's not gonna be a good one, is it? Because there's all these factories here. Where are we going to stick a station here? Well, you guessed it. Unfortunately, these chaps in the middle are going to have to uh, going to have to find somewhere else to live. I mean, a station in the centre of town. We've not been able to do that before, have we? Well, not really. Um, right now, I've demolished their entire. Entire settlement. Let's have a look. 240. Oh, they're building back already. That's not what we want. Right, hang on. Let's shove a bus station on. Because then we all know where we're, where we're at. Way straight round. I think we're going to go for underpasses here at Temple. For crying out loud. Right, there we go. It's not quite as central as I wanted, but it will do. Sorry, cars, you're uh, you, you're gonna have to go. I'm gonna go for fifty through here. You know, I think fifty is fine. Keep that as a cutting. Mmm. Saucy. Right, bring you round. Can we keep you as a four track? We can. See, that doesn't look completely awful. Um, I mean, it looks fairly awful, but just not completely awful. There we go. Brush size and strength. A bit of smoothing around there. There we go. Right, so that's going to go round and hopefully follow the cliff. Uh, right, okay. Bit of 60. Now, I don't think it's going to go up the middle, this railway line. Now, it's going to go into two-track, isn't it? You know for well it's going into a two-track. There we go. So, that freight's going to come through here. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. That's going to be the freight line. So, they're going to branch off and uh, whiz through here at 50. Bit of 60 to there. Keep it level. I mean, I'm just trying to make it look a little bit more, uh, you know, kind of organic here. There we go, 40. What can we, can we stick you to 40 over there? Ah, oh, that'll do. Right, that's a bit too close, actually. So what we'll do is we'll just bring you round, straighten you out a little bit. There we go. 
that'll do. So if there's uh, if there's an HST coming in from the other direction, they won't uh, they won't clang together here. Hmm. I mean, ironically, the HSTs are going to be coming in slower than uh, than the other stuff. There we go. That can be the point where the lines will join back together. It's going to be a flipping uh, long climb up here, isn't it? We quite like something quite scenic to emerge from this. I don't know if it will, of course, but uh, I mean, we could we could go round here. Could go through there, couldn't we? Really? Oh, it's a it is a steep climb into out of uh, Temple. And uh, it is a bit of a longer episode today, some of you will have noticed that. That's uh, that's my apologies for the been no episode last week due to me uh, not being able to speak. Um, See, so yeah, I thought we'd do a slightly longer, longer one today. I don't know if that's going to work. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, back to, back to flat. No, because you're not going to... You're not flat where I want you to be. How about that? Are you feeling about that? I think you're feeling good. Didn't really want to tunnel all that way, you know. I wanted something a bit more kind of round the round the headland. But never mind, because it's got us where we want to go, and it's still incredibly steep, isn't it, to be fair, to get us all the way up here. Pengreg Head is not exactly how you would say equipped for, uh, for building a station, is it? Right, hang on. Small. Alright, we'll pop a bus station in there. We'll keep it at 60. There we go. Can we get you to there? Uh, oh, I didn't realise we were going uphill. Right, okay. Uh, it appears we're going uphill. Who'd have thunk it? Right. Well, well, we'll just build uphill and see how we get on. <coughs> right, there we go. Now, what are we going to do with that road? Because that is obviously a main road. You wouldn't have thought so by looking at it, would you? But apparently it is. Right, hang on. No, we need we need curvy mode. Curvy mode is good. Right. If I drag you across there, are you going to... Yeah, you, you're going to look awful, aren't you? We'll just tunnel you under. There we go. Problem solved. Then Greg Ed... Now you, for some unfortunate reason, dip down, and I don't want that. There we go, bit of, bit of that. Lovely. Right, keep it there, because we'll be able to tunnel underneath, I think. Yes, we shall. Right, hang on. Bring you straight out there. Again, train spot's paradise. Look at that. I 
And we're actually going to keep you as a... Yeah, well... Oh, hang on. No, didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> there we go. Right, and bring you straight out. And we'll bring you straight round to there. How are you looking? There's no unscrupulous bridges out there. Right. Keep you there. We've done it. We've absolutely just gone and done it. That's brilliant news. Uh, I don't actually know if we've got anything. We could stick a 47 on the front, actually, now that I think about it. <coughs> a bit of a rail freight 47 now. That would be a bit tasteful, wouldn't it? There we go. We'll just... Let's bring that up a little bit. I mean, it's in the shadows, so you can't really, can't really see it. <coughs> there we go. So, oh yeah, we we could lose a lot of hours in the smoothing gun, couldn't we? Right, because I actually want to get some uh, some some trains running today. We're actually going to stick a depot here because I said so. Uh, because it's just going to take too long to get a train from another from another depot elsewhere, isn't it? We'll stick one of the default depots on. There we go. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, does it? Uh, signals. Uh, yeah, let's have a bit of that. Bit of uh, bit of goings on there. We've not done it. I've just realised we've not done it. We've built this bit. We've not connected to flipping bits up. I can't believe it. We've only built to here. How unfortunate. Flipping heck. Right, okay, not a problem. Let's uh, let's get a bit of 60, 75 I reckon from here. Nope, you are going all the way up there, but you're going to be in a cutting. There we go. Keep you in a cutting. I don't want to tunnel you. How are we going to get you over this road? Uh, quite simple, actually. We'll just delete the road. Worry about the road later. There we go. We'll bring you down. Because you're obviously going to be the... Uh, this is the local line, of course. Which will have, like, 150s or 158s or something uh, to that effect running on it. I mean, the good news is, is with all the stone on the back, the uh, this steep gradient will help the freight trains get up to some speed, won't it? Oh, hang on, that's not what I wanted to click. I mean that's going to look pretty stunning, isn't it? What can we uh, what can we have over there? I mean that is my favourite bridge. I think a, a little steel number will go good there. Well, I mean they're all steel, but a, a silver steel number. Can we just drag you on? No. Oh, hang on. What are you going to come out like? You you're not completely awful, are you? There we go. We'll just drag you all the way around. Now, are you going to do that awful thing? Actually, weirdly enough, you're not. That's a, that's a first. Got a bit of a tunnel on after the bridge. Okay, there we go. Line successfully built. Look at that. Smashing. Absolutely delightful. There we go. We'll pop a bit of, bit of signalage on at that junction. 
And uh, yeah, let's get some trains running. Pengreg Ed, you're going to fully load there. And uh, your minimum stop time will be uh, zero seconds. Your maximum stop time will be forever. Because I'm not having these trains running unloaded. Could you imagine the amount of money we'll lose through that? So everything looks good. Let's just fly along the route. Make sure there's no uh, no discrepancies. Yeah, okay. Fly around to here. Yeah, still on track. Yeah, all still good so far. I mean, this is a freaking long line, isn't it? These trains are better pay. Well, hang on, they disappear. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know why they keep disappearing, but it's still running. There we go. Still going. Has to be one of the longest freight lines I have ever built in the history of my uh, transport fevering. There we go. Right round. Oh, look at that. Well, it's working. So this will be the little asteroid. Stone. Great. There we go. I thought I was going to call it something a bit exciting for a second there, and then I realised that I don't have it in me to be exciting. Uh, so, uh, you know, the creative... It is actually a stone place, isn't it? Could you imagine if we'd built all that and it turned out it didn't accept stone? Because I built it to the wrong place. Right. Right, cargo wagons. I need something, and it might not particularly have to be British. Uh, right, you are not cargo wagons. <coughs> you can carry stone, and you can go at 100 miles an hour. Now, that is appealing to me. Uh, you can... Right, okay, I'm, I'm feeling the sea urchin. You can do 74. Well, that's not good enough, unfortunately. But you can carry a lot. The sea urchin can't. Hmm... Okay, British Rail, you can carry fire. Oh no, that that will be fuel. Okay. Uh, oh, is that the nuclear? That's the nuclear wagon, isn't it? Uh, you can do that. Uh, you can also carry stone. 20 of it at 100 mile an hour. Well, the PTA wagon is, is winning so far. Sod it. PTA wagon it is. Now, let's have a look. Have we got British... We could have British steel. Uh, what about unbranded? Uh, front. Yeah, just unbranded will do. Front. Why rear? Oh, is that because of the... Yeah, it'll have like a little tail light on, won't it? Right, okay. Locomotives, diesel. Uh, how fast can you go? You can do 80. You can do 80. But then, mm, you see, you, you, well, the 47, arguably, has more power and can go faster. Uh, and has a better tractive effort. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, the 47. And do you know what? We could actually, actually, we could have a nice little story behind these 47s. That actually, uh, it's the 47s that we've just taken off the Express Intercity stuff. Repainted them in EWS, which we have. I feel a double-headed vehicle. Uh, for this task uh, cargo wagons because we want it to be you know we want it to get up to some speed don't we and I think a single one with a load of wagons on the back isn't going to work uh, right PTA tipper wagon can carry stone uh, I feel yeah uh, unbranded right front center 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and then rear so that is, do you know what, we'll, we'll take two off the middle so you can carry 400. Splendid. Right. How many do you think we need? How many can we afford? We can afford two. Okay, right, off you go. Little Astreath Stone Train, make it happen. Is it going? Wow! The problem with double heading is, of course, the uh, the numbers on the side of a texture, so you end up with the same loco twice. I mean, that's a lot of power to haul all this stone, isn't it? But I'm glad that they can do 100 miles an hour. 
because they might actually be able to keep up uh, with the... I, I don't think these are going to interrupt the HSTs too much, you know. I really don't. I think we could end up with something quite wonderful here. With them working in harmony together. <coughs> the irony of it is the HSTs are probably going to hold up the, uh, the freight stuff. Oh, I mean, doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? I'm so glad we've done that, you know. We really have had a breakthrough uh, in terms of our freight transportation. I just hope it makes money. Could you imagine if it doesn't make money after all of this? Because it turns out the route is too long. Well, yeah, there we go. That is where we are going to leave it for today. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do show your appreciation by clicking that like button. And, uh, of course, if you've made it this far in the series, uh, do make sure you subscribe. If you've uh, if you've just started, if this is the first Transport Fever episode you've stumbled across of mine, uh, go back and watch the rest in the series. They're all in a nice handy little playlist for you. Uh, but, yes, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.